Should Iron Maiden perform longer when they perform their live concerts? This is the Rock and Roll Weatherman. My name is Sean Morrison, currently overseas in Europe on their Future Past kickoff tour. And the band is performing about 15 songs. And um, definitely lots of surprises. They did perform Alexander the Great for the first time on May 28, 2023 in um, Slovenia. And um, the Future Past tour is featuring previously unperformed songs from the band's most recent studio album, Send Just To, which is a very awesome album, along with um, a focus on the 1986 record, Somewhere in Time, which is an album that, I, that Mr. Morrison does like, and he does like some stuff they are performing on there, plus other classic um, cuts. So, um... Mr. Morrison's gonna, gonna go over the set list. He's gonna come over with a, with a um, suggestion because I, you know, caught somewhere in time over somewhere in time. First time they've done it since 1987. Obviously, they only did it on that tour. Stranger in a Strange Land for the first time since 1999. The writing on the wall of a Sen Just Dude. Then we have Days of Future Past, as well as The Time Machine, which are live debuts. Two songs off of Sen Just Dude. Then Prisoner for the first time performed since 2014. Great to see that. Another debut song. Over Send Just Dude, Death of the Cells. Then for the first time since 2014, Can I Play With Men? It's another excellent song. For the first time since 2008, Heaven Can Wait. We also went into um, the live debut ever. That's off the Somewhere in Time album. An awesome song, Alexander the Great. Then the title track for the 1992 Iron Maiden album, Fear of the Dark, as well as Iron Maiden. Then for the encore, we had Hell on Earth, The Trooper, and wasted years. And now Mr. Morrison's saying that there, there are key songs that were left out there, such as um, Run to the Hills, Number of the Beast. And believe me, there are fans out there that want to hear Number of the Beast when they go see an Iron Maiden concert. I personally do. Flight of Icarus here or there can um can be can be played live, of course. Um even running free. You know, some fans don't want to hear the same songs all the time. I, I certainly agree with that. And um, some fans um, are happy to see the set list um, changed around, which is nice as well. Mr. Morrison likes when a band does perform new music off of an album. Of course, is how much when you have a lot of classic songs to play as well. If you're not subscribed to the Show Morrison YouTube channel, please do so. Everyone else has to subscribe. We thank you very much for the continued love, honor, and support. It's really appreciated. Sean Morrison Enterprises is the place to go if you'd like to make a small donation to the Sean Morrison um, YouTube channel. What Mr. Morrison is suggesting here is that maybe Iron Maiden should perform maybe two sets. But they're going to be now so they can get other songs in there. Maybe add an extra five songs to the one set they're doing and then alternate them every other night. On these tours, so fans that, that want to hear some diehard stuff will get their money's worth. I'm not saying you have to perform the number of the beats on every show. Maybe perform the number of the beats on one show. Next show, hey, go to um, go to Flash and the Blade off, off the um, Power Slave album. I mean, have have a thing where you're doing some deep cuts here and there. And don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with the tour set list that they're doing on this tour. At all, as Mr. Morrison feels that I mean should add more songs to their live set list so fans can um get their money's worth and hear more classic Iron Maiden tunes because there are some main fans that do not want to hear five to six songs off the um Send Just To album. Sadly, that's the case, but you know, in this world, you can't please everyone. So, what are your thoughts, friends? Should Iron Maiden? Add more songs to this current um future past tour set list, or should I just leave it be? What are your thoughts, friends? Shame, shame, shame.